of f of x equals 2 to the power of x. So we're going to need a table on this one. And we'll choose some values of x and find the corresponding f of x or y values. I'll do one more. So we'll do 0, 1, and 2, negative 1, and negative 2. So <clears throat> f of 2 would be 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. And that would give us the point 2, 4. And f of 1 would be 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. f of 0 is 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. Well, I should have graphed that last one, right? There we go. And then f to the power of negative 1 is 2 to the power of negative 1, which is 1 half, or 0.5. And finally, f of negative 2 is 2 to the power of negative 2, which is 1 fourth. So let's go and graph those. About right there and right there. And we can see from this graph that it's going to be very close to this x-axis as it moves to the left. And as it moves to the right, uh, 3 would be 8, so it should go through that point. Well, maybe your line looks better than mine. I don't know. Something like this. For these types of problems, I'm really looking at the table to see what values you have. So if it looks close, that's fine. But I need to see some values. Will there be a table on the... If you don't want to make a table, that's fine. But show something like this. You don't really even need the arrow there, right? Like 2, 2, 2, 1, 2. Yeah, something like that, or what was it, zero one, or two four. As long as I can see some of those values, then we can determine that, okay, at least you know how to get them.